as you will know, over the past several days, almost a week, we have been, there's been a flurry of activity on, on site at this particular location. And that's simply because we have been conducting some emergency repairs at the Hampton Pumping Station. So this morning we, we have invited you because we want the opportunity to speak to you and to let the public know exactly what is going on. So we, ha we will seek today to give you as much of an explanation as we can about why this emergency work is being conducted, what it means, and what it means in terms of its impact, positive for the cus consumer, the customer, as well as what it means for us as well. Just for our background, um, around November last year, we would have done some inspections at the Hampton Station on the upper deck and we would have recognized that there were some support members that were compromised. We decided that the, the plan would then be to change them. We decided to change them in February 2024 so as not to disrupt the customers during the Christmas break. However, just in the middle of December, we had a field pump. Um, what that did is change that plan work to an emergency. We now have to come in and change the, the pump that was damaged. But to get to that pump, we have to ensure that the support structure, which is what the pump shall rest on and where the workers will have to work, is safe. And that is what we are attempting to do now, make it safe so that we can make the change to that pump. I'll now hand you off to Mr. Marshall, who will give you the details about the changing of those pumps. Good morning. <clears throat> okay, um, th this task at Hampton to change the pump involves the use of a crane. Um, we can use the, use the crane to pull the pump that is unoperable right now and pull that pump out with the razor main, bring it right out, change the pump on the outside, and then we reinstall it inside the pumping station back in the well. Um, we will then continue to lift another pump and, and, and put two pumps on some temporary supports so that we can take out the substructure on the wellhead and fabricate new new beams uh, at the top of the wellhead to take the support of the pumps and we will do it for all four pumps. It's a tedious job because we have to to, to get out the old the old um, eye beams there's some concrete that's all around the beams and we have to get in there with a jackhammer and they, they go all this concrete. We expect that by Friday we should complete this job, but we don't know what challenges we will meet. Just to add a little more to the discussion and to give a little more context, what we're doing right now actually parallels what we have done at the Bell. The works are actually significant, significant to the extent that we're dealing with a very large catchment area that we are supplying the water to and therefore what we do not only is it important, but it has to be tempered and, and, and done in such a way as to limit the outages to this particular catchment area. The work in, is, is, is dangerous to the extent that we're dealing with a compromised platform or substructure that has to be replaced. And what, Mr. what Hector was just explaining is the fact that it has to be done in stages where we're going to have to remove pumps, remove the substructure, um, we introduce some of the pumps to make sure that we can at least have interim supply on a continuous basis over the next several days, while all the while trying to change all elements of this substructure. So we, will, we promise that we will be keeping you updated on a daily basis. Um, if there's any additional challenges that we encounter, we'll certainly make sure that you're aware of it. Um, we have, as I said, the full team available, and we will work as long as it takes each day to do as much as we can. One of the things that we would like to certainly implore or ask everyone uh, who is affected particularly is to store water. The reality is that the catchment area is of a size that no matter how many water tankers we deploy, given the time it takes to turn around delivery from one tanker unit, it will be, will be very hard pressed to be able to service everyone in the affected communities in a very timely way. And therefore, we are asking everyone whether you have to go outside of your community, whether you have to engage friends or families to work with us in through this particular period. It cannot be business as usual over the next four to five days. And we are asking to work with us. It is unfortunate that this is where we are, but even, even if it was a significant burst, we will be faced with a similar challenge where 
water from the Hampton district area will be restricted and therefore the distribution system will be restricted and therefore we're asking you store as much water as you can now. We paused the work from last week Friday recognizing that there were quite a number of people that were being affected by the outage. The whole idea was to give everyone as much opportunity as we can over the weekend and today to fill containers and to make sure you got your weekend shows attended to and quite frankly to, re to respond, to prepare for school and so on. So we've already been in touch with the Ministry of Education in respect of the schools that are affected in this district just to make sure that they have um, water supply in terms of tank of storage as well. And we are trying to make sure that we're working with any health uh, facilities and getting a, uh, um, at least an idea of who are the elderly and who, who have been affected um, in the area that we need to give priority to.